Hey what is going on guys, it's Cameron here, welcome back to the channel once again. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the top 5 best weapons that you can buy in Fortnite using your gold currency. I'm super excited about this new feature in the game with gold currency, so I want to share some of my uh, opinions about the best weapons and the best things you can buy in general. Before we count down the list and go over the top 5, if you guys are new to my channel it would sure mean a hell of a lot to me if you consider hitting that subscribe button, I make daily content like this for you guys try to help you guys out and just sharing some information with fortnite all right guys let's dive right into this one let's start off with number five so number five for me is going to be the storm scout now it's not particularly a very strong sniper rifle so that's why it's only getting a number five in position but if you're able to get enough points in arena this could be incredibly valuable late game when you need to rotate to the next zone. The reason being is this sniper rifle will automatically give you a built-in radar that tells you the, exactly where the next circle is gonna be closing on your map. So that can be extremely useful again for like arena, competitive play. It's not the strongest sniper like I mentioned, but it's still incredibly valuable for that. So the place that you can buy this weapon is from Lexa. She's at the Hunter Haven location, new on the map. She will sell you the Scout Sniper Rifle. It is quite a bit though, it's like 1200 uh, gold coins. If you can get it, then at least you're pretty much a shoe in to win the game. Coming in at number 4 is the Shadow Tracker. This is actually a very underrated exotic weapon. Um, this weapon not only does the highest damage of the of the pistol category it also is uh is great because it'll actually highlight your enemies a, a similar way that the shakedown mechanic does in the game when you shake an enemy down you'll be able to see him um in red like a red little square on your screen so it's a it's a good one to have i would definitely buy this exotic weapon if you have the coins for it uh, where you can find this one is from Reese and Dirty Docks. She's in a big blue warehouse in the back nearest to the ocean. And uh, yeah, it's again really helpful for tracking your opponents and you can see them just like you shook down their squad. Number three is the Dragon's Breath Shotgun. This is actually a much better gun after the buff a couple days into the season. They buffed up this gun and gave it a heck of a lot more damage. You can now 200 an opponent. So it's definitely worth getting. I only wish that it could shoot more than once before reloading. So that's its one drawback now. But still well worth getting because it will catch builds on fire. And if an enemy is boxed up, basically that's an easy extra 20 to 30 damage because it takes a while to break builds to escape fire. So yeah, it's definitely worth getting. And that one is substantially cheaper. That's why I wanted to give it a pretty high placement number three. Um, where to buy this gun and get it really often is from Condor and Misty Meadows. I think like I, I landed there a bunch and like 90% of the time Condor was selling that Dragon's Breath shotgun. So you can get it in a gold and an epic variant. Both of them are very good. Um, it's like 100 gold for purple and it's 250 for gold uh, for legendary. So yeah, it's, it's a better price if you're trying to save up your coins and I would recommend getting it. It's awesome. Coming in at number two is the dub. This is another exotic weapon, which currently it has two spawn points. So I'll go over that in a second. But the dub is amazing. It's basically like the flint knock pistol, except imagine the flint knock pistol with two bullets. Cause uh, yeah, you get two bullets. Hence the name, the dub, the double barrel shotgun. And it looks really cool too, you know, everything aside. It does okay damage. I wouldn't say it's the best shotgun you can get, but it does okay damage. The main point though with it is it allows you to uh, to go backwards and it shoots you backwards. Kind of has the same knockback that the flint knock pistol has. And because of that, it makes rotating very easy. It also makes as a nice way to ambush an opponent. So say you have height or something, you need to fly over to their build, you use that once, you fly over to them, maybe use the second shot on them, and then you build and you're good to go. So it can make for some exciting, awesome plays on enemies. And it's just a cool weapon, so I wanted to give it a really high placement, number two. Um, so its location is uh, from Dummy. At He's an NPC. Um, you can find him north of Pleasant Park. And if he's not there, you can find him at Mini Junk next to Dirty Docks. And uh, yeah, he's just it, you, you get it the same amount that the other exotic weapons are, about 1,200 coins. 
Um, I'd recommend getting it if you have coins to spare. Check it out. Try it out. It's it's a fun time. So now we're going to go over the number one gun. And this number one gun is going to be the purple legendary scar that you can buy from an NPC. Before I go over that though, the reason I chose the scar over all the other weapons, exotic weapons, is they're just too dang expensive. You can only get them once every couple days if you have enough coins. And the other reason is because the exotic weapons I feel like are just underpowered. Um, they're not very, uh, they don't do a ton of damage. I don't die by them ever. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, I would recommend that Epic Games either reduce the price of the exotic weapons or increase the damage or both because it just makes them more obtainable, more fun. We don't have to wait days in order to buy one of them. Uh, so yeah, but that's why the scar is number one and you guys already are aware of what the scar does It's the best assault rifle you can have in Fortnite um, There's a there's an NPC that sells it consistently um, You can get it from steamy stacks from bullseye Bullseye I think sells it about like half the time like 50% of the time She'll have the the scar available to sell and for a hundred gold which you can get easy that in like three games um, you can get gold really easy. You can get a scar, and I think that's a really awesome thing. Because an NPC selling you a scar right off the start of the game is overpowered, man. Like, you're already... Uh, you've got a good chance of winning the game if you can get that kind of a weapon. If you can get that gun off the start of any game, I mean, you're pretty much a shoe in to win. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of all these weapons. What do you guys think of the gold currency-based system? Is, do you guys want to see more exotic weapons from Fortnite soon? And uh, as always, guys, it's been Cameron. Love you guys. Peace out for now. Bye-bye.